Hey, Brad Lancaster here, author of the books Rainwater Harvesting for Dry Lands and Beyond and the website HarvestingRainwater.com. Uh, in this quick video, I just wanted to show you how much more capacity you have in living systems such as rain gardens uh, compared to tanks. And by having so much greater capacity in these living systems, uh, you dramatically increase the capacity for flood control, groundwater recharge, uh, urban heat island effect abatement, uh, and mitigating climate extremes, and so forth. Um, and while I'm going to show you uh, how to, we're doing this with a traffic calming water harvesting chicane or pullout, um, you can use the same strategy as the receiver of your tank overflow, a rain garden in your yard. This can be done on a larger scale, on farms, ranches, whatnot. Um, anyhow, check it out. Okay, here we are at this uh, street side water harvesting basin or pullout that has been built out into the street to narrow the street and calm slow traffic and grow vegetation that will grow to help shade the street and cool it. So I just want to show you that it's now like I don't know, 10, 15 minutes after the rain stopped. We got a really nice intense storm where we had runoff flow. You can see water is still flowing into this water harvesting chicane. It's coming from upstream. There are some uh, student housing apartments behind those trees. Um, so off the roof and parking lot of that complex, it's just a ton of pavement. So water is still pouring off of that and coming along here. That site is not absorbing its water, it's draining it. So we'll take advantage of that. Although I wish they would keep more of it on site and grow more passive cooling shading vegetation there, cool that heat island effect parking lot they've got going. Um, so this basin is totally full, all right? And look, there's no water flowing out now. It was flowing out earlier when the runoff flow was more intense. But what I want to show you is, look how the water is coming in. Okay, it's still flowing in. It's full, but there's no water flowing out. So what I want to show you here is unlike a rainwater tank or a cistern, a non-living tank, this living system has far more capacity than a built non-living tank because water is continuing to infiltrate. Now, even as you can see on the surface, it, it looks full, but it is still absorbing water. And these plants are evapotranspiring water. So if you had a you know, plastic or a metal rainwater tank the, and you had incoming water, and it was full, you would continue to have overflow. But not in this instance, okay? Because it continues to absorb and evapotranspire water. So the capacity of these living green infrastructure systems, these rain gardens, is much higher than a rainwater tank. Um, and, you know, we can get, let's just wait two hours, and what if we got another intense rain like we just did? All the surface water will have infiltrated within two hours um, because we've got all this living vegetation, its roots, living soil that's um, creating more channels down into the soil, quickening the rate of infiltration. Um, so this thing is going to be all ready to go in another two hours. Whereas a rainwater tank, it's still going to be full. You're not going to use <laughs> all that water. So, yeah, this thing will be ready to go to handle another easy half-inch to one-inch rainstorm. Love that. 